Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on Android app development with Kotlin. So in the previous video, we talked about navigation drawer, we implemented this simple navigation drawer and I told you guys that in the coming videos or the next part of that video, we're going to talk about navigation drawer with fragments. Okay, so in that this is the video that we're going to implement the fragment in our navigation drawer using the Kotlin programming language. So to show you guys what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you the final application that what it's going to look like after we are done with the, all the tutorials. So here you can see this is the navigation drawer. And if you don't have this source code, I'm going to link the source code in the description and you can go ahead and download it and follow along with the video. Or otherwise, you can watch the previous navigation drawer video and you can follow along with that. And once that is done, you can come back to this video and follow here. Okay. So here today, we are not going to do a whole lot of uh, complicated thing. We are just going to simply implement the on click listener on these uh, buttons here, uh, menu buttons. And if, if we click on any of this, we are going to load the fragments. Okay, so this is a home fragment. And if you click on about, it's going to load the about fragment and contact and so on. So this simple thing we're going to implement. So let's go ahead and start. So this is the source code that we previously worked on in the last video. So I'm going to open that. And here we have this simple uh, navigation drawer implemented with this project. So let me show you by running this. So I'm going to close this. And let me rerun it again. Okay. So here you can see we have this header and drawer menu and the home page and this is the activity. So this is the um, main activity that we have implemented here. And in the content main, we have this home page. So here, what I want to do right now is I want to implement the fragments so that uh, when user open our application, they'll see the fragment loaded in the main activity instead of this uh, main activity itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and create one fragment first. And that fragment is going to be called as home fragment. So this is for the home uh, main activity. So it's practically is the home of our application. So this uh, fragment is going to contain all the content, all the stuff that you want to display to the user when they open our application. So create the blank fragment, name it as home. Okay. And finish. And once that is done, you'll get this uh, fragment file. And here you can see a bunch of stuff that we don't want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete it. Okay. Oh, only thing we need is on create view. Okay. Only thing we need is this much of code. None of these other thing matters. So I'm going to delete it. So it's going to look much more cleaner. And I'm going to remove all the imports that we have here that we don't need. So alt control alt O and it's going to remove all the unused imports. Okay. So this is our home fragment and let me show you the home fragment uh, XML layout. You can see it is implementing the frame layout. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to change that frame layout to constant layout. And here we'll design this constant layout. So I'm going to delete this text view, add new one and fix the constraint on the all, all the sites. Okay. And let me give the name as home fragment for the text view. Okay. And uh, make it 30 SP of the front size. Okay. So this is what our home fragment is going to contain. But uh, if you are going to implement like a recycler view or other data they want to, that you want to show here, you can do that uh, according to your application uh, development plan. Okay. So for the demo purpose, I'm just going to display this simple text view here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to load this home fragment to our main activity whenever user open our application. Right now it is just uh, loading this simple activity with that one text view here, right? So instead of that, we are gonna load the fragment dynamically. We are not going to do it statically. We are going to load the fragment dynamically, dynamically so that whenever user click on any of the other fragment, uh, we can load that as well. So. First things first, let's go ahead and uh, add 
handle the event on these buttons here so right now if i click on any of this button nothing happens so we need to handle that as well okay so to handle the on click event on those menu buttons we need to go to our main activity here and uh, in the first part of the video here you can see we have this navigation view and we have id for this nav menu okay so i'm gonna use that nav menu here and i'm gonna set on navigation item selected listener set navigation item selected listener and we'll just pass this okay and here i'm going to implement navigation view on navigation item selected listener so which is a interface that comes with this navigation view so navigation view dot on navigation item selected listener okay now we need to implement that so click on implement member and it's going to create this override method for us inside which we can implement handle the on click on the buttons okay uh, menu buttons or menu items okay so here we can check uh, let me return true because it's it is expecting boolean value to return by this method so i'm going to uh, return true here and now here we'll perform uh, we'll check which button is clicked and based on that we'll uh, load the fragments okay so right now let me go to the menu here and if i remember i have not given the correct id to uh, about yeah i have not given id so i'm gonna set the id for this about contact and rating and if you have downloaded downloaded the source code then you need to do it as well now let's go to main activity here and now i can use if condition so item dot item id and now we're going to compare to the id of our navigation menu and if that is clicked we'll just display the toast for now i will just display the clicked message okay so let's go ahead and run this application to see if we can handle the click on the navigation view okay our app is running let me click on home and it says clicked and if i click on any of the other thing it, it is not working because we have not handled that here okay so the event listener is ready now what we need to do is whenever the user open our application we need to load the fragment here the home fragment here right so to do that let's come back to this main activity and here i'm going to create the fragment uh, variable okay and uh, now we can get use the support fragment manager so actually uh, equals to support fragment manager dot begin transaction okay now using this fragment we can replace the new fragment and it's going to take two parameter one is the fragment container and another one is the fragment itself okay so we don't have fragment container yet so let's go to content main here okay so this uh, layout is going to contain the uh, frame for the fragment to load dynamically okay so i have removed that uh, home activity text view here and instead of that i'm going to add the frame layout so let me go here to the code section just after this toolbar i'm going to add the frame layout okay let me make it match variant wrap content for now and i'm going to give id and it is fragment container and i'm going to close it okay now we need to fix the constraint so let me go to the design part and select this and i'm going to fix the constraint okay now let me make it match parent so that it's going to take the all the available space here okay now we have this frame layout that can contain the fragments that we want to load so here i'm going to get that fragment container so r.id dot fragment container and here we'll pass the actual fragment okay so home is the fragment that we want to 
load. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this application to see if that is going to work. So our application run is running in the background. And here you can see it is not working because I have forgot to commit the changes. So it is important to commit once the fragments are created here. So let me run again. And now you can see it is loading the home fragment. Okay. And I also want to change this uh, drawer menu to home whenever a user click on home fragment. So to do that, I will just create a one method here. Okay. So the function name is going to be set toolbar title and it's going to take the title as the parameter which is of the tag string okay and now here we'll just call the support action bar and we'll set the title that is passed through this method so title and it should be nullable so let me make it nullable by adding the question mark there and it, that is going to fix this problem so now i'll just call this set toolbar title here just after this or before this fragment it's up to you and I'll pass the home as the parameter so that when I run this application it should display the home in our R toolbar here okay so that's how we load the home uh, fragment automatically when we open the application now what I want to do is I want to load the home uh, fragment when user click on home okay let's say user is in contact page and user wants to go back to the home and he if he clicks on home here he should be redirected to the home fragment so to do that here we need to handle all that uh, click here so we have this home right so inside this what i can do is i can use the same code here and paste it here and it's going to do the same job but instead of you know copying and pasting all these things from here what I want to do is I want to create one function to change the fragment. Okay, so it's going to take the fragment as the parameter. And now inside this, I want to add this. I want to remove this from here. Okay, and here instead of uh, using this home, what I want to do is I want to add fragment here. Okay, so I already have this fragment uh, variable created here. So what I want to do is, I just want to make it, I, I want to change this variable name to frag. Okay, frag, now it's, uh, now I can use this change fragment here and pass the home fragment, okay. And I can do the same thing here as well. So just after this, I want to do it, change the fragment. Okay, now to, okay, so it's going to work the same as it is doing right, uh, it was doing before. So if I run this application, I can click on home and it is gonna load the home fragment. And now you can notice one more anomaly here. If I click on home, it's not closing the drawer, right? So I want to close the drawer whenever the uh, button is clicked. So here in the on navigation item selected, I can do that. So we have a drawer layout and I can call the close drawer method here and inside this I need to specify the gravity. So gravity compat dot start. It's going to hide the our navigation menu, navigation view to the uh, left side. Okay. So let me run again. And now if I click on home, it's going to hide that. Okay. So similarly, now we're gonna go ahead and create a few more fragments for the contact and about, and we will change that fragment, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, let's create the fragments that we need. So blank fragment, and this is for the about, okay? And we don't need all of these extra stuff. I'm going to delete it right away. Okay, we don't need this companion object. Okay. And now we have this, let me close all this stuff that we don't need. Okay, so we have this fragment about now. And 
Similarly, I'm going to change this from frame layout to constant layout. Okay. And delete this text view and add the text view. And this text view is going to contain the same text that says we are at the about fragment so that it will be easier for us to see the changes that we have made and we'll now we'll load this about fragment whenever the about button is clicked so here i can create one more if else condition and uh, do the same thing but instead of that what i want to do is i want to use when statement so the advantage of using kotlin is that we have this when statement and i can pass the item id and now i can easily perform the if else condition operation that i have performed there so added id that home then i can simply copy and paste these two thing here okay and i will delete this if else condition so that it will be cleaner and easier to understand so added id dot next thing is about so in the about what we'll do we'll change the title to about us and we will load the about fragment here okay now it should work so let's run this application and come here and click on home you have this home fragment click on about you have about us and about fragment and if i click on home again we are at the home fragment and similarly you can create one more fragment here for the contact and rating and you can uh, write the same code here and change the fragments automatically or dynamically okay so that's how we do it guys and i hope you learned something new and if you did don't forget to like this video and comment if you got any problem you can join our facebook group and you can ask me the questions there and i'll try my best to help you and in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe this video subscribe to our channel and help us reach 20,000 subscribers and i will see you in the coming videos